What is your story and what makes Coach Steven Jordan such a great man to you? Um, well, I'm Tion Zayon McCoy, by the way. And when I first found out about Don C. Smith, I didn't even want to come here. I didn't know anything about Smith. You know, I just knew it was in my city, Charlotte. And I, like my dad would talk about it a lot, but I just used that, you know. I'm going to go to Division One. So, uh, on August 14th, when I was supposed to report to school, South Carolina State University, um, my coach gave me a call. He said we was having some uh, problems with money, some money issues. So, you know, as he told me that, we discussed schools and stuff like that, that I could, other schools I could go to. But, you know, I, after that, I just really hung up the phone and just sort of shut down. And then, you know, I talked to my dad. And I wasn't going to really go to college and like, you know, get a job or whatever. But my dad convinced me, you know, give John C. Smith a try. So he called up to, uh, to talk to Coach Joyner because he tried to get my brother in here a couple of years ago. And um, that same day, Coach Joyner gave me a call and uh, told me to come up to the school and, you know, talk with him. So when I came up to the school, I talked to him. We shared our point of views and stuff like that. And... You know, he welcomed me with open arms. And then uh, I ended up starting here, coming to John C. Smith. And he's a great man because he does that to a lot of kids. He takes kids that, you know, really this is not their first choice of school, this, this is the last chance or something like that. He takes them and he brings them in. Like my teammates now, previous players that he's coached, who. You know, who knows where we would be if we didn't have Coach Steven Joyner. Steven Joyner, a West Side legend. Steven Joyner started his basketball voyage in his hometown of Winston-Salem, North Carolina, where he attended Atkins High School and was the second leading scorer on Atkins' 1969-4 AA North Carolina State Championship team. Joyner later became the star point guard at Johnson C. Smith University from 1969 to 1973. He began his coaching career at Virginia Union University a couple of years later. He received his first head coaching position for Smith's women basketball team in 1980, building the Golden Bulls into one of the CIAA's most competitive programs. He led the Lady Golden Bulls to the first CIAA Southern Division Championship and an appearance in the NCAA South Atlantic Regional Tournament. In 1987, Jordan took over the men's head coaching job and made Johnson C. Smith one of the most revered programs in the CIAA. Throughout his 29 years of coaching at Smith, Jordan has made numerous accomplishments such as becoming the second winningest coach in North Carolina behind Duke University's Mike Krzyzewski. He was selected CIAA Coach of the Year in 1992, 97, and 2001. In 2001, Jordan led his team to their first CIAA tournament championship, and the team made their first appearance in the NCAA Elite Eight national tournament. In all, Jonah has taken the Golden Bulls to seven CIAA divisional titles and has produced 25 all CIAA performers and five All-Americans, many who received those honors multiple times. In addition, his up-tempo style produced Johnson C. Smith University's two top career scorers, Columbus Greenlight Parker and Mark Sherrell. Now, they also serve as Jonah's top assistance coach at Johnson C. Smith. Jonah is an NCAA Division II congressman and member of the All-American Committee. He previously served as a member of the National Collegiate Athletic Association South Atlantic Regional Ranking Committee. He serves as a member of the Macquarie YMCA Board. 